friends, thanks for stopping by. For my returning friends and subbies, thank you so much for your continued support. And to my new friends and my new subbies, hi, my name is Emily and this is Emily Budgets. My husband and I use the cash envelope system to budget our bi-weekly paychecks. We use it to stuff our weekly envelopes and sinking funds and our savings challenges. We have a major goal of this year of saving $20,000 for a down payment of a house that we're hoping to buy in two years. And in today's video, we are cash stuffing $610. So let's get that counted. We have 100. 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600, and 610. And the ATM for some reason only had $50 bills and usually I need 20 so we'll see how I'm going to make it work. Probably have to take out and exchange some money so uh, we'll do that. First things first. Let's do our coins. This is my husband's Raider Piggy Bank. All our coins are going into this Pop Belly Pig because it's heavy now. And this will help save him money to buy uh, tickets to go to a Raider game. So let's put that in here. And how's everyone doing? How's your week going? It's Saturday, so how's your weekend going? Any fun plans? Have you guys filed your taxes yet and got your refunds? My most recent video um, or previous video, we just received our state tax refund. So it wasn't that much, you know, $400 or so, but we did put it into our savings challenges and sinking funds. And so that was nice. And get this going. I do have a couple of shout outs and some happy mail. Um, I won a giveaway on budget by Jeanette's channel, so I'll link her right here and in the description. And um, so I won a $10 Amazon gift card. So I combine that with a $10 Fetch gift card. And if you do not know about Fetch, you create accounts, scan your receipts, and then once you get up to a certain amount, um, you can redeem for gift cards. So I chose a $10 Amazon gift card and I was able to get something I've been wanting for a while. All right, so our uh, Raider Piggy Bank is stuffed. And I got this Kate Speed purple calculator. So no more ugly TI-30XA from high school calculator. <laughs> now I got a pretty purple calculator. And I've been eyeing this for a long time on Amazon, so I'm happy I finally got to purchase it. So thank you, Budget by Jeanette. I really appreciate winning that give giveaway. And let's get on to our book of the video, which I haven't read yet, but I'm excited to show this off. Um, it's going to be the next book I'm reading, and it's Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. Um, probably most of you have heard of Shonda Rhimes. She is the creator of Shondaland, you know, the TV shows Grey's Anatomy, How to Get Away with Murder, Scandal. I love Scandal. You know, she... Uh, most recently inventing Aunt Anna and then last year was uh, let's see if I could say it right Bridgerton uh, which I loved as well so this one is year of yes how to dance it out stand in the sun and be your own person and it's kind of just talking about finding yourself and um, you know she admits that she's an introvert I'm an introvert and she needed to say yes more and so she wrote a book about it so I'm very excited to read this so this is the book of the video and then to show off some happy mail so here's my happy mail it's from organized chaos budgets they were kind enough to send me this no spend scratch challenge 
you'll see in my next video, I did not meet my goal of 12 no spend days. I was far from it, so I definitely need help working on it. But isn't it cute? It's calendar. And you know me, I love the scratch off challenges. I do. So she sent also sent this. I haven't opened it yet. Cute thank you sticker. So cute business card. I love this business card with the edges on it and a note. And then this no spin challenge envelope. Oh, and she sent some uh, some savings challenges. Oh, Yahtzee. I love Yahtzee. That's so cool. And a self-care savings tracker. Have to have that. So thank you so much, Janelle. I really appreciate it. So go check her out. I'll link her below, but it's Organized Chaos Budget. She also has a channel on YouTube, and she has Instagram as well. So thank you, Janelle. All right, so let's get started on this cash stuffing. I've already taken out the ones from our weekly cash envelopes, and here they are. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that are going to go into our $1 savings jar. And this is mostly from Vegas. And I have to say, Vegas was so much fun, and you would be proud. We stayed within budget, and we actually came home with money, so that was exciting. It was a little bit, not much, but I am happy that we stayed in budget. But in hindsight, I do wish we would have had more for Vegas, especially in the food fund. Four days, $600 in Vegas for two people, unless you're eating very cheap food. Um, it's not a lot. And we went to two really cool places. Uh, the Beer Park, uh, which is right next to Paris Hotel, was awesome. They had a DJ there, and it's like picnic-style tables. It's outside on the patio. They had heaters because um, it was a little chilly, but the DJ was so fun. He did hits all the way from like the 90s and 2000s, and so it was the perfect atmosphere. And then we went to Gallagher's at New York, New York. A hotel and it's a steakhouse and that was really 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 good I got the prime rib my husband got the New York steak and um, our waiter was awesome so uh, so yeah it was a really really fun trip and uh, okay so for the, our weekly ca cash envelopes groceries is going to get $100 and I'm actually going to do a Walmart pickup tomorrow. Toiletries isn't going to get anything. Um, gas is going to get 60. Okay, and Yoda is not going to get anything this pay period. Uh, Mr. is going to get 60 and so I'm going to have to come back to Mr. and Mrs. Um, because I actually need to get some change so let's put that on the side and let's see if I could just make change real fast out of our savings challenges so let's see maybe the 52 week probably has a good amount of change so let's see 20 40 50 okay there we go. That helps. So put that back in there. I need something with tens. Let's see. That's twenties. Not in there. So we might have to just keep on going. Actually, this might help. So 
5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to put a 20 back over here. Okay. Sucks when the ATM doesn't have the, the nominations that you're needing. Okay, so let's see. We were at Mr. Right, and he still hasn't spent his 50 from the tax refund. And so he's going to get 60, so a 50 and a 10. Yeah. And then I'm going to get 60 as well, 50 and two fives. And that's it for the weekly cash envelopes. All right, and off to our savings challenges. First up is the 100 envelope challenge. Now, I pulled two envelopes last week, 168 and 212. However, we had some bills come up that um, made our available um, cash stuffing, it reduced it. So I'm only going to do one envelope and I'm going to do the 168. Let's see if I can pick that up. There we go. 168. And this is the last stuffing until I do my sinking funds update and that will be posted on Monday. So let's see. 150. Let's see, so 170 and we'll put $2 back. All right. Okay, so for our 100 envelope, $20,000 savings challenge, we have one hundred, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, one hundred, fifty, seventy, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-four, one thousand, one hundred and eighty-four 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 1,184 dollars. So that's good. But we definitely need to start ramping that up. <clears throat> Let's get this colored in. So that was 168, which is on this row. Okay. A new coloring in a new envelope on a new row. So that's good. All right. Next we have the $500 scratch off savings challenge and we got 20 and so let's exchange a 50 for these two 20s and a 10 and then put in a 20. So now with our scratch off savings challenge we have 50, 100, 20, 25, 30. So 130. Uh, for the 52 week challenge, we're going to do week number 11, which we missed. So putting in, let's see. So I'm going to do five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So now the 52 week challenge has 50, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. So $91. Let's get that 5 in the right spot. So almost to 100 bucks. And then we have, but let's make sure we color this in. So 
So we've gone up to week 13, so we'll be doing 14 next. Okay, and bingo, we pulled a, or spun a 20. So bingo's getting a $20 bill. And so now bingo, the $1,000 bingo challenge has 50, 100, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 295. So $295. Now that's actually really good. And let's get that colored in. So what was it, a 20? Okay. And then we have our new savings challenge, the Sweet Magnolia Savings Challenge. This is available on my Etsy shop. And we are going to do $10. I'm going to put it in this envelope. It's miscellaneous that I got from Mystic Budget. So thank you, Mystic. And so we'll put $10. And I'm using this savings challenge to fund Mother's Day. I want to take my parents out to a nice um, British restaurant that just opened up one town over because my mom is from England and then also have money to decorate and buy flowers for my husband's mom's tombstone or actually grave. So that's it for the savings challenges and let's get this colored. We'll do pink. So each magnolia bud is $10. And then the magnolia down here is $50 to equal the $250. Okay, and that's it. And I just remembered I didn't scratch off the number for my husband's paycheck. So what do you think we should scratch? Let's see. Let's do this one right here. All right, we got $25 for paycheck number one of March, which is my husband's paycheck. Okay, and then the last two that we're stuffing are, I'm going to try to remember where it is. It's actually our home envelope that we haven't stuffed in a while. Oh, I picked the right uh, binder. Uh, we are putting in $100 in home because we're actually going to be buying some bookcases really, really soon, and so I need to fund that. So home now has 105 and then our last dollar is going to go into our O-Poop fund, which is not in here. I don't know why, oh, is it? No, nope, that's Debt Snowball. There we go. And like I said, even if I always want to try to fund this no matter how small, so we're going to put a dollar in, which that's okay because it's going to help it get it closer to a round number. So now Opoop has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78. So $78 in Opoop. And that's it for our cash stuffing. I wanted to show one more savings challenge that we're going to start soon. We have to start this one uh, beginning of March because this is our trip for next year. Um, saving up so much money for our house down payment, um, we are only doing one trip this year, which we've already taken, which was Vegas. 
and then we're doing that trip next year. So it's the Walt Disney World $5,000 Savings Challenge. Um, if you're interested, this is on my Etsy shop, but we are going to start this next paycheck and because we need to get this funded I believe we're going September of next year so we have a year and a half to save so that's it for my cash stuffing I hope you enjoyed it I hope you have a great rest of your weekend thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing liking and commenting and I will see you in my next two videos which will be the bill exchange my first one ever which will include a 1k slip Ooh. and uh, the last one will be posted on monday which is my sinking fund update for february all right i hope you guys have a great weekend bye friends